why should you turn windows memory integrity off okay i will give you two very good reasons the first one is better thermals better performance so someone contacted me as they do on discord that they got their new laptop and the performance wasn't as much as other reviewers were showing them okay and let's forget the numbers for now even at the highest of temperatures his uh, cpu cpu's tn junction for the 7840 hs that is the ryzen 7 newly launched gaming laptops processor so it was hitting its tn junction temperature of 100 degrees and even on that it was not crossing 70 watts that was his main issue main concern that why wasn't it going more than 70 watts where other youtubers have shown that it can go above 70 above uh, up to 90 watts in performance loads okay so yeah we uh, same thing so as you can see 99.9 degrees and 70 watts after we went into the settings so i had a call i said you know the first thing we should do since you are on windows 11 and not on 10 this would be enabled by default go to privacy and security open windows security go into device security go into code isolation setting and turn this off okay these both will be off so as soon as he turned this off uh, his temperatures came down and the scores also increased okay so this that was the first reason now i try to do this on my 5800h cpu uh, nothing changed so it matters from cpu to cpu or from laptops to laptops but what i can tell you is on the 7840hs it does matter and subsequently i think it should also matter on the 7640hs why take a chance just turn it off the second thing is that was the first main reason the second reason was uh, some application drivers may be incompatible with memory integrity so what does that mean that means there are a bunch of applications, but from what i can guess what i have seen all the android emulators now your blue stacks nox player everything that you use to try to play the android games on your system all those and the uh, virtual machine virtual box vmware and all that that all requires memory integrity to be off okay if you visit the vmware workstation for this error uh, the first error that you will counter encounter is on this machine is amd v slash rgi is not supported on this platform windows 11 even if you have enabled virtualization in your bios you will still get this error okay so we will go on to how to fix that later but the point is the first thing that it requires a vmware requires is you turn memory integrity off okay so on that note please turn that off and you will have better scores bye bye